Good morning, guys. Oh my goodness, I'm running behind. Okay, I have one flight to Los Angeles. I need to fix my hair. It looks a mess right now. I'm having a lovely layover, meeting up with a friend, going to my favorite places. I'm gonna grab dinner tonight. Look at this, this is driving me crazy. But let me request my Uber now. $22, why is Uber so expensive today? Comfort is faster and cheaper, and the Uber's kind of far. I always do quiet preferred when I do comfort. I don't like to chit chat in the Uber. Well, since it's gonna be a minute, might as well show y'all what I'm bringing. I'm not bringing much today. So I have my cottage cheese with blueberries, blackberries, flax seeds, I think that's it, and honey. I have Olipop's new flavor, lemon lime. This stuff is so good. Magic Spoon cereal bar. This one is cookies and cream. And then we have another Magic Spoon cereal bar. This one is cinnamon roll. And then I got this at the San Diego Farmer's Market the day before yesterday. This is spinach jalapeno creamy garlic sauce. And it's so good. I have a grapefruit, a banana, in, or a grapefruit and apple in there. And I'm gonna also throw in a banana, I have been on a fruit kick lately. Okay, I have like five minutes, so I'm just gonna like panic make a matcha. Elmhurst walnut milk. Matcha bar, matcha. Tablespoon of maple syrup. Listen, I know that's a lot, and you know what else I know? I know that I don't care that it's a lot. I love maple syrup. <laughs> Dump that in there. Oh, do I have a mess to come home to when I get back. Mix it up. I have these great little cups that I get from James Coffee in San Diego. Well, I couldn't find the lid, so it's going in my pink matcha cup from Seattle. All right, Uber's pulling up. Let's go. I'm in my hotel room. It's nappy time. Yes, I'm in pajamas. I'm exhausted. My whole crew and I, all we could talk about was how much we wanted to take a nap once we got to the hotel. So I'm in my room, gonna take a little nappy and then get ready for dinner this evening and a little pit stop at Air One, I believe. Hi guys. I tried to take a nap didn't happen but that's okay i'm just putting on makeup the flight was so easy today it was like too easy it went by really fast i hate when i try to sleep it's like i i'm putting so much pressure on myself to sleep that there's no way it's just gonna naturally happen on its own or that it's that i'm gonna like let it happen on its own if that makes any sense because it's like i'm so focused on it and it's like i'm stressed out about falling asleep because I'm like counting down the time that I have. I refuse to look at the clock, but then I start getting anxiety that like my alarm's not gonna go off and I'm gonna oversleep or whatever. So no, I did not rest, but it was still kind of nice like laying there, you know? Tomorrow is Valentine's day, so I'm gonna dress. I mean, I already do tend to do this, but I'm gonna dress very pinky. So I have a lot of pink with me, but I wanna kind of keep it neutral when it comes to my makeup i definitely didn't drink enough water on the plane today i'm still loving my nails by the way these are how i got them done in san diego i just think they look so cute i got a lot of compliments on them on the plane today i'm actually freezing it's really cold in my room i think that's part of why i couldn't sleep is because i felt like my toes were freezing off even though i had socks on valentine's day is actually one of my favorite holidays i don't remember if i said that or not I don't care if it's commercializing love. I feel like people are so dramatic when they start talking about it like that. I'm sorry, not sorry. But like, any excuse to celebrate cutesy love notes and hearts and flowers and chocolates, I'm like all in for it. Pretty sure love is powerful enough for us not to have to reduce it to a holiday. So I'm not really concerned about that. Um, I just feel like it's silly. If you like Valentine's Day, celebrate it, which is what I do. I like it when I'm single and I like it when I'm in a relationship. I almost like it when I'm single more 
because there's like less of an expectation to be had or like less of a fear of disappointment. I've had all kinds of, dated all different kinds of guys who've had different behavior over Valentine's Day. I like to make it known that it's important to me and I make it special when I'm dating someone too. I like make sure I do something sweet for them. It's not just like me sitting back waiting for someone to do something for me. I'm excited to go to Erewhon, hit it up. I don't think I've been, I haven't been since I went with Jade back in like October of last year. Which feels like it wasn't that long ago, but it was. This highlighter makes your skin look like glass. The Merit one and Bounce is good. Let's get dressed. Hoop earrings are by The Perfect Hoop. I love this company. They're a Canadian brand. So it takes, if you live in the US, it takes a little, little while for it to get to you, but after you order them, but they're really cute. I feel like it truly is like its name, like the perfect hoop. I cranked up the heat so that's like roaring in the background in my room, but all I have to do, put on my sandals. Ooh, I don't have very much time left to record. I'm dressed very spring-like to be perfectly honest, but I'm just wearing this pink sweater that I tend to wear a lot from Aritzia. This little skirt that I also tend to wear a lot. Sandals, both are from Aritzia. And then this jacket. I don't know if you can properly see it or not, but this little, my friend's jacket. These are definitely like my staple pieces. The sweater, the skirt, the jacket. And then for fun, I'm taking my Jacquemus purse. The pink one. Yeah, I just realized this is like the exact same thing almost that I wore in my San Diego, my La Jolla vlog. Oh well, I like what I like. And it's what fits me right now. dinner you guys ready for an air one haul got a couple shirts from lululemon i've been needing long sleeve workout shirts i have like one honestly and i've really been needing a couple more so i just got their regular swifty tech this one i like this one because it's like i like the length of it just plain black i get size six in the shirts at Lulu. I can do size four as well. Six is like comfortable. And I love this color, this red. Apparently, I've mentioned this before, red is my color. Like red and pink are my colors for clothes if I don't wear neutrals. And this red, it's for the, um, it was for like the Chinese New Year, but really cute. I'm going to get this one hemmed at Lulu. I'm gonna go in Boston and I'm just gonna get it shortened a little bit because I really just don't need it as long as it is, but I love that color. Let's see. Leftover dessert from Mastro's. The infamous butter cake, you already know, and the homemade whipped cream, delicioso. Okay, let's start off with the non-cold products from Air One. We have Aged white cheddar popcorn. I got this to share with Marcos and my crew on the flight back tomorrow. Marcos loves popcorn. He's a big skinny pop guy, but I figured this stuff is called Pop Karma. I figured he would like it. Gluten-free, non-GMO. I got some lentil chips by Enjoy Life light airy lentil chips and i got some dip to go with these i'll show you guys in a minute my absolute absolute favorite protein plant protein by symbiotica 20 grams of protein five grams of carbs and it's like a greens powder as well you know what now that i think about it i was looking for a greens powder i want more ag1 but i just haven't gotten it 
Um, this is kind of like a two-in-one. It's it's uh, protein powder and greens powder. We got this Air One cooler, which will come in handy for me in the summertime. So that's good. But what do we get? Air One water. Usually I get Mountain Valley. If I'm in LA and I'm at Air One, I'll pick up some Air One spring water from Mount Shasta. I have been needing magnesium for so long. I love the Symbiotica magnesium supplement. It is so good. Uh, let's see. Oh man, two things in here I meant to give to my friend. Wow, everything stayed pretty cold in here. This Air One bag is like super insulated. To go with the lentil chips, I got this spicy smoked Gouda dip. This looks so good. Mushroom blend cold brew coffee. It's got lion's mane, cordyceps, turkey tail. It is alkaline coffee, which is really good. Oh, it's made with alkaline water and a dose of potassium without any preservatives or fillers. This is from the company Culture Shrooms, mushroom cold brew coffee. So it's got medicinal mushrooms, which is incredible. I've been wanting to try this for so long. I see people drink it all the time on Instagram. ACV and turmeric, so sparkling apple cider, apple cider vinegar tonic, raw unfiltered with the mother, plus turmeric. It says swirl gently, do not shake. I got myself a green smoothie for tomorrow. This one is the goddess smoothie, organic coconut water. Everything's organic, coconut meat, toco, Trin, I always forget how to say that. Organic chlorella powder, spirulina powder, plant-based protein, mesquite allulose, and cinnamon powder. That'll be good tomorrow. I have been wanting to try sea moss gel for so long. So I got the Venus vibes, opening your heart. But it has rose, hibiscus, raspberry leaf, orange peel, Madagascar, vanilla, beetroot, and obviously the main ingredient is 100% wild crafted, full spectrum Irish sea moss, full of minerals. It has something like, it has like over 90% of the minerals we need in our body every day. So it's incredible for you. These little bears look delicious. Malibu gummy bears, foamy gummy bears, whatever that means. And look at it, it's just pink and pretty. Beecher's cheese sticks. I absolutely love Beecher's cheese. Delicious. The Symbiotica Super Green Supplement. This stuff is amazing. I just need to be on top of my greens more. Royal Jelly Brain Fuel. This stuff is incredible. This is what I meant to give to my friend and some of the cheese, but oh well. And then the absolute best body butter in the entire world, the Osea. Ose, Osea, Andaria Algae Body Butter. This stuff, it is incredibly, incredibly luxurious. If you're gonna splurge on something for your body and your skin, which is the largest organ we have, let it be this body butter. I need to put this stuff away. I'm gonna put some ice in this. But yeah, dinner was incredible. We got, we went all out, super bougie dinner. Grateful and blessed, it was delicious. Got the seafood tower, we had caviar, stone crab claws, lobster cocktail, shrimp cocktail. I feel like I'm forgetting something. The caviar was delicious. Caesar salad was delicious. The bread basket at Mastro's is so good. And then what else? Oh, obviously the butter cake, which I've already shown you guys. But yeah, guys, it, I'm going to bed. I wanna get like 10 hours of sleep tonight. I wanna relax. I want to work out hard in the morning. I wanna enjoy my smoothies and all that good stuff. Oh my God, my camera keeps telling me I have no space on it. But yeah, guys, it's time for me to go to bed. Good morning. Eye drops are necessary because I'm a little dehydrated this morning. Let's go in with some vitamin C serum. I love the Ursa Major one. I am walking straight to Alfred Coffee. There is one not too far from here. I haven't had Alfred in what feels like years. Honestly, I think it might be a couple of years since I've had Alfred Coffee. Let's go in with some sunscreen. 
It's Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day so much. Should I put on a little bit of makeup for the day or just leave it? I feel like I should probably just leave it. I'm always tempted to just kind of like look cute for my walks, but I don't need to. I got my Valentine's Day clip. I love this clip. I'm gonna wear a red top, I think, and a pink little sweater over it. I just love Valentine's Day stuff. Guys, I'm rushing to get downstairs. Okay, I have to go. My van time is like now, so I'm gonna run downstairs. Oui, and I'm gonna finish this vlog off. I'm gonna continue this vlog at home. One thing I want to show, I put math or I put eyeliner in my waterline, which I never do, and I actually really like the way it looks. I'm gonna start doing this more often. I think I used to do that when I first started wearing makeup because it was big then. All right, time to go to Boston. Hello, oh my God, my hair. I need to wash it. Am I in focus? I look crazy. This is my new workout shirt. I love it. I just got back from the gym. Is this even? I So I did like the eyeliner under my eyes yesterday like I showed you guys. And I feel like it's just so hard to wash off your face, but I just worked out. It was a really good workout. I needed it. And I'm gonna go in with Daily Harvest Smoothie. They just sent me a box recently, which was honestly perfect timing because I wanna get back into my smoothies. This is the avocado greens one, key ingredients, apple spinach, avocado, almonds, fennel, and spirulina, perfect. And then I am going to get fancy and add the sea moss that I got from Air One. I've never tried sea moss before. Very interesting. I don't even know. Serving size, one tablespoon. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this. Look at it. Nope. And then I'm doing protein since I just worked out pretty hard. Plant protein. We listened to rock while I was working out. We usually do hip hop, but I was in the mood to listen to rock. So we put on Deftones and it was actually pretty good to work out too. Coconut water, walnut milk. I do a lot because I like my smoothies to be pretty like watery. Shoot, why did I do that? Oh my goodness. I was too busy looking at the camera watching myself pour it instead of actually looking at the smoothie. That's really good. Mm. Look at my kitchen. It's a mess. It is a mess. Oh well. Guys, I'm gonna wrap up my vlog here. I hope y'all enjoyed my lovely little LA vlog, a little bit of time at home with me. My name is Vera for those of you who are new here. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Balanced Flyer. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more flight attendant content, more travel content, and food content. All right, I will see y'all in my next vlog. Bye.